Hi, everybody. Back with lesson six, homework helper. This is page 25 in your 6C book. And I'm just going to spend a quick minute on the homework helper. This is exactly what we were doing in class. Um, recommend you're using your place value chart and uh, place value disks and make a 10 if you can. Now, when you're not making a 10, when the numbers are smaller, you can solve some of them mentally. So we have 34 and 25. Four and five, I know what that makes. So when I have a smaller, when I have smaller numbers like that, I know I'm not gonna be composing a 10. I'm gonna just do that in my head. I'm gonna split it up and divide in, uh, into the units. I'm gonna add the units. So three tens and two tens is five tens. Four ones and five ones is nine ones. I don't need to um, get out all my place value disk. Although if you're not sure, if you're uh, having a hard time with it, the place value disks are there and you can use them. So we're going to be looking, starting on page 27, it says lesson homework, uh, lesson six homework at the top page 27, and I'm going to have my place value disks ready to go. And um, again, I'm just using my whiteboard, but uh, the two column place value chart is in your, I think it's actually in this one, in the six feed book. There's one, no, there's one. Maybe not. I, it might be in the learn book instead. All right, so I'm just using my whiteboard and I'm gonna just draw a line down the middle just like I did in class. And um, I'm gonna be using this for my place value disks. Now the directions for these top two for row A and B the directions are telling us to use mental math if you can. And if you can't do it mentally, then get out your place value disks. So I'm going to look to see whichever ones I can do in my head. 30 plus 9, I know for sure I can do that. There's no ones here. There's no tens here. So 3 is going to still be the tens, and then 9 is going to be the ones. And just putting that in. Same thing here. 20 plus 8. I know for sure what that one is. Now, some of these are going to be a little trickier. You might know in your head what these are. I remember 6 plus 8 because we were just doing that the other day. 6 plus 8 is 14. I'm going to go ahead and put that one in. Not as sure about 9 plus 4. I'm going to go ahead and use my place value disks. Now, I don't have any tens at all in this number, so I'm just going to, I'm gonna be using my ones only. So I'm gonna have a pile of ones and a pile of tens so that I can just grab and make whatever number I need when I need to. So I'm going to start with four ones. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to add nine more for my second number. But I'm going to put them here. If I keep them in groups of five, like a 10 frame, it is so much easier for me to see how many I have right away. So I'm not going to count at five. I'm going to start counting over because I need to add nine. But I'm going to put it like it's in a 10. Frame. All right. So I'm adding nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. When, since I've done them in my rows of five, like a 10 frame, I can tell right away that I have 10 
three in the say 10 way, in the standard form, we would say 13. So nine plus four is 13. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and compose them and put a 10 over here, but all I'm adding is four plus nine. So I'm gonna go right ahead and put in 13. The next one we need to add is 34 plus nine. So I'm going to keep my ones kind of organized because I'm starting off with the pretty much the same thing. I need 34. So I have one ten, two tens, three tens, and four ones. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. I am adding nine. So I am going to take that nine and put them back in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because remember, we're still adding four ones and nine ones, just what, like we were at the beginning. So again, we have 10, three, or 13. This time, in order to add my total, I'm going to compose that group of 10 ones and switch it out for a 10. So now in unit form, I have four tens, three ones. In standard form, that number is 43. Now I'm going to add 34 plus 49. Now, when I look at these numbers, they are very similar. We started with four and nine, and then we added 30 and nine, and then we added 34 plus nine. So we just added that four back in, and now it's 34 plus nine, but also four tens, right? These are very similar numbers. So Again, I am going to start with 34. And now I'm going to add 49, which is 4 tens 9. And just like with my ones, I'm going to try to keep these in five groups. So I'm going to start counting again, but still add it. So I want four tens or 40. So that is 10, 20, 30, 40. And I'm going to add nine ones. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. 49. So again, we have 13 ones, one, 10, three. I'm going to compose that 10, put 10 ones together and switch it out for a 10 unit. And I'll slide those up so it's easier to see. When I added 34 plus 49, I got eight tens, three ones. In standard form, I would say 83. So here we had 34 plus nine and it was 43. The only difference between 34 plus 9 and 34 plus 49 is that we added 40 more. We added 40 to the 9. So here we had 43 when we added 4 more tens or 40 to that number. 4 plus 4 is 8. So we added 40 and we added 40 here too. 34 plus 49 is 83. 
So there are a lot of problems on this page. Some of them we can do in our heads. Some of them we're gonna need to um, put out our place value disks. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to do the first half. So I am going to do A, B, C, and D with you right now, right here. The rest of these down here, you are welcome to continue to do on your own, but I'm not going to do it in the video or we would have a 45 minute video. And then we're going to turn the page and do one or two of the word problems. All right. So we have 21 plus nine. Ah! 21 plus nine. Let's make that with our place value disks. But as I'm even thinking it, I can, I can see in my head one and nine. One and nine is one of my combinations to make a 10. So I'm already kind of thinking about what that answer is going to be. But let's make our 21. And then we're going to add nine to it. Okay. So 21 is two tens, one. And now I'm going to add one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine and one makes ten. I'm going to compose that group of ten and trade in those ones for a ten unit. How many tens do we have now? We have three tens and zero ones. So we have 10, 20, 30. When I look at this problem, I know I have two tens, but I also know that one plus nine is it gonna be another 10. So I could almost do this in my head. Let's look at this one. I'm gonna actually zoom in a little bit. 22 plus nine. Hmm. If 21 plus 9 is 30, what will 22 plus 9 be? I think I know. 22 is one more than 21. And the 9s haven't changed. So I think our answer is going to be one more than 30, but let's check to see. So we are starting with 22, two tens, two, and we are adding nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can I make a 10? Absolutely. I have 10 ones right here. I'm going to compose that, bundle it up, and make a new 10. What did we end up with? Three tens, one, or 31. Is 31 one more than 30? It is. So some of these, we're going to be able to look at the one we just did and see if that helps us. All right. So we have 28 plus 2. Hmm. Hmm. I'm seeing very similar to this one. I see two numbers that make 10. Let's see what we get. So 28 is two tens, eight. So 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 
I need to add two more. One, two. Can I make a 10? I can because eight and two makes 10. I'm going to compose my group of 10 ones and change it up to a 10 unit. How many do we have? Three tens or 30. Let's look at our second problem. It's 28 plus four. Is that similar to this problem? We had 28 plus two. And now we have 28 plus four. 28 didn't change, two did. How many more? It's two more. Hmm. So I'm wondering if my answer will be two more than the first one. Let's see. We start with 28. Two tens, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This time I need to add four. One, two, three, four. How many did our ones add up to? One, ten, two, which is 12. Can I make a 10? Absolutely. Let's compose those 10 ones, switch them up for a 10 unit. How much did we get? Three tens, two ones, or 32. I'm gonna write that in. And now take a look. I have 30 and 32. The answer was two more because that's the only thing that changed here. Our next problem is 32 plus 16. I think I can do this one in my head. What is six plus two? That is eight. What is three plus one? That is four. So 32 plus 16 is 48. Now this one, is 34 plus 17. They've changed both of those numbers. They added two to the first number. They added one to the second number. I think I better use my place value disks. 34 is our first number. Look, we're almost there. Right now we have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. And we're going to add 17. Now, for this one, I'm going to do it a different way and just show you what another way you can add it, okay? I'm going to put it separate. So 17 is 110 and seven ones. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So if you get confused putting your counters, your disks into five groups, you can separate the two numbers so that you can see we have 34 up here and we have 17 down here. And then when it's time to add them, you can move them into five groups. So I'm gonna move that 10 up. We still don't have a group of five. We've only got four. And I'm going to move these up. So I have a group of five there, move those up, and I have a group of five there, and one more. So if it confuses you to combine the two numbers, you can start off with them separate on your mat and then move them into the five groups so that you can see what you have because this is a lot easier. I can just know what this is. I don't have to count. I know that's a group of 10 and one more. 
10, 1 is 11. So I'm going to compose my group of, one, of 10. And I'm going to turn that into a 10 group. Now I have five. And I'm going to move that up. I have five tens and one. Five tens one is also known as 51. So 34 plus 17 is 51. We're going to do one more on this page, and then we're going to do a word problem. Our next one is 47 plus 23. So 47 is four tens, seven, one, two, three, four, and seven ones, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. I am going to add 23 to my 47. So again, if you can make your groups of five, go ahead and do it. I'm going to keep them separate this time, just giving you another way of doing it. So 22 tens, 23 is three ones. So I am adding together 47 and 23. So I'm going to move my tens up to make a five group. I know that five and one is six, okay? I'm gonna move these three up here so I have my two groups of five. Oh, so we've made a 10. I'm gonna just compose those ones, bundle them on up, and I'm gonna put a 10 disc on the other side. So now, how many tens do we have? We have seven tens, five, six, Seven. So 47 plus 23 is 70. I probably should have known that. Seven ones and three, seven and three. That's one of those combinations. So now on my second one, I have 47 plus 25. 47 is the same. What's changed here? 23 to 25. How many more did they add to get 25? They added two more. So I'm thinking my answer will also be two more, but I'm gonna work it out and make sure. So I'm gonna start again with 47. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm adding now 25. So two tens and five ones. I am going to move all of this together into five groups. So I need to move one of the tens up there and the other one down here. I'm going to move two up there. My ones are a little bit different. I can make a 10, though. I'm going to compose that group of 10 and ones, switch it out for a 10 disc. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens, two ones. In standard form, we would say 72. And look at there, I was right. They added two to 23 to get 25. And our answer or sum was two more than the first one. If you're going to go ahead, you can finish out that page. Just pause the video because I am going to turn to the second page and we're going to do at least one of these word problems. 
Melissa has 36 more crayons than her brother. Her brother has 49 crayons. How many crayons does Melissa have? Melissa has 36 more crayons than her brother. Her brother has 49. So if Melissa's got more than her brother, we're not gonna subtract. We're not gonna get less. We need to get more. Melissa has more by 36. So we are going to add 49 plus 36. Let's do it with our place value discs. So I need four tens, nine ones for 49. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 49. And I am adding how many more crayons does she have? This is how much her brother has. Melissa has 36 more. 36 is three tens, six. So I'm going to add three more tens. You can keep it separate if you want to. One, two, three more tens, and six more ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can I make 10? How many do I have? I have one, 10, five, or 15. So I am going to move that group of 10 ones and switch it up for a 10 disc. Let's move our ones up so we can see. If you did your numbers separately, then you needed to move them into five discs to count. How many tens do we have now? Eight tens, five ones, or 85. So remember we are doing our reading, our drawing, and our writing. Our drawing, instead of using place value discs, you can draw them, that's fine too. But we used our place value discs in, in place of that. Now we wrote our equation, we need to write a sentence. How many crayons do, does Melissa have? Melissa has 85 crayons. That is a lot. She must have like four or five different oranges. All right. So um, yeah, let's do one more and then you can finish up the last one on your own. There were 67 candles on grandma's birthday cake and 26 left in the box. How many candles were there in all? So they had a box of birthday candles. They put 67 candles on grandma's birthday cake and they had 26 left in the box. So how many were in the box at the beginning before they took out the 67? We need to put those two parts back together. So we are going to say 67 plus 26. And let's figure that out in our place value discs. So 67, that is going to be six tens, seven. Right now I've got six tens and five. Six, seven. So we have six, ten, seven, and we are going to add in 26, which is two tens, six. So two more tens, six more ones. One, two, three, four, five, oopsie, and six. Can you see that? Yeah. So I did them separately. Now I need to move them together so I can read them easily. I'm going to bring those two up. 
I'm going to finish off that group. Can we make a 10? We can. How many do we have? We have 13 ones or 1103. Close those ones together. Switch them out for a 10 disc. And let's move it up. Wow, that's a lot. How many 10s do we have right now? We almost have 10 10s. So we have nine tens, three ones. How do you say that the standard way? Nine tens, three ones is the same as saying 93. So I'm going to write 93 in my equation, but now I'm going to write my statement, my sentence. There were 93 candles in all. Look at that, it's an L-E word, just like we were working on all week. Boys and girls, you can do the last word problem by yourself, and I will see you next time. Thanks for working so hard.